I think I know what it is. Let's see what we got here. Take that rag off it. Okay. My ride. Hop in. I'll even let you drive.
Come on. Time to lay it out for those little idiots. Their 15 minutes is up. Hey, so what's the plan? Simple. We get in the club, find the little slut's dressing room, do our thing, Delta. Thing is, I can't be seen. Not about to give him any free PR. Yeah, pretty sure you gave him enough already. Burning truck was everywhere. All the sheets, all the feeds. Don't get smart. Tell me how we get inside. Look, sometimes simplest is best. We just buy tickets. Okay. First, you whacked? Not about to let those bitches make an any off of me. Second, it's sold out. Cool. We'll find a way in anyway. Let's look around. V! We're gonna chat. Who the fuck are you? The fucking guy you robbed! Carrie, you're a dime. Carrie, son! I ain't your son. This ain't a meet and greet either. V? Hear him out. This is all a misunderstanding. Clear it up, and we're gone. But, Carrie, son, what happened? We had a deal, didn't we? Oh my god. Is this about that N54 interview? We like. Didn't mean to offend or anything. Old doesn't mean anything anymore. No wonder the truck didn't get to him. Even dumber than I thought. Okay. Seems like you don't get it. I don't give a shit what you thought. There is no deal, and there will be no deal. But you're my song on that stage. You are done in Night City. That's a promise. But we're going to bring your rock into a new era. Isn't that what you want? Rock? You? Okay, let me tell you something. It's been claimed before, but you actually did it. Rock is dead, and you killed it? Congratulations! Your manager contacted ours. Said you wanted to work with us. Kovacek? The, the fuck? He, he never even asked me. The fucking corpo cuntbag. Listen, Carrie san that cover is an expression of our love for you. Please, let's work something out. Rock might be dead, but Carrie's blind if he can't see these girls got potential. Looks like the label fucked you all. You're their pawns. They're playing you. Looks that way. 
Fuck. You know, got nothing against you. The sitch, that's what's fucked. Well, you chained your gunk gas to the corpos. What'd you expect? We'll talk to the label, Carrie son. But right now, we'll make our displeasure known. Your song's not in the set. We're calling off the concert and suspending the tour. Seriously? You'll lose millions. They'll lose even more. Well, okay. You girls, you're all right. What I said earlier, I... No biggie, Carrie son Even monkeys fall from trees. Right. Let's go, V. Wait! Carrie san can we get a pic with you? Just as a souvenir? Um, why the hell not? V, do the honors? Say synth cheese. All right, I think we got it. Thanks, Carrie san Um, so. You working on any new songs? We could maybe pick one for your single. <gasps> really? Yeah, gonna stick around some, V. I mean, look at them. Girls need help. Thanks. Yeah, have fun. Carrie son, maybe you'd like, wanna hear about our new single? About? Come on, talking about music's like fucking in a bed of his alien. Get away from me.
You're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think... Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this! A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. And drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world what the peace. Damn why should what this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? Okay, so we'll make what the hell else do you have? Right here in America. Whatever, asshole. <laughs> and to you. Fuck you. Our biz won't settle itself. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm in. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. You trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. No 
Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing that means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. Like ah, shit! Just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, yeah. then just then drive, drive this beast, beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. As it is, then. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Huh. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? Would you help me look? Sure thing. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, it must be here somewhere. V, look thoroughly, please.
well, well, well. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this, speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shame. I was hoping you did. I do, but I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Still your ass down a minute, honey. Now breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. You're acting spooked. The 
as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. The scorpion. And a Jackie. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Oh, kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B. Get her up to speed. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Wait, no coming in high. Take out that couple. Shoot out the damn coupler!
switch, Bob, go! All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move! Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V... I'm sure I will, so you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
This elevator is out of order. Sorry. Out of order for Kerry Uridine's guests, too? He's expecting me. In that case, enjoy your evening. show. Now that that's behind us, what's Kerry Uridine's next mission? Hit on Kovacek? Very funny. But yeah, not about to let him get away with it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But the bastard's gonna regret making me sign those papers. You try to get out of that deal with the label? Ah, let's be real. Say I break contract. Then what? Who's gonna release my new tracks? Who's gonna deal with distribution, promotion, influencers, media? Labels have got them all in their pockets. You're out with them, you're out, period. Well, you'd be free. Seriously? Free to sing until you're blue in the face? Nobody hearing a thing? It's just another kind of cage. Show you one of my favorite spots in Night City. Don't come here often, but when I do, it's important. Should I feel special? Maybe. I told him to shut the place down for the day. <sighs> Can't get enough of this view. Love looking at this city from above. Place you fall asleep thinking you're special, then wake up knowing you're no one. Wow, sometimes I wonder if I'll ever see anything more beautiful. I have. Doesn't matter though. Night City's not something you ever forget. 
just doesn't let you. I think I know what you mean. You ever feel like the city doesn't give you a choice? You either burn alive in it, or you never existed at all. Shit. Carrie, what's wrong? Tell me. Keep thinking about our conversation at Caliente. Us cracks, you and the slaves to the Corpo grind. Mm -hmm. Guess I wasn't completely honest with you. Or myself, for that matter. Talk to me. See, thought I was afraid everybody think me another Corpo slave. But I was just afraid I'd be in someone's shadow again. Again? Lived in Johnny's for years. Part of the scenery, machinery. Helping him shine brighter. Never believed I'd make it on my own without Silverhand. That boy left Samurai. Fuck. But you did make it. Big, too. Only diehards remember Samurai now. You. Everybody knows your name. You think that changes anything? Wake up with the same thought every damn day. That I might somehow fade into this town's steam, stench, murk, for good. Night City's the city of shadows. Done everything I could to walk clear of them for years. Fuck. It's time you stop being afraid. You don't need to be. <laughs> Think you can drive the shadows away? <laughs>